And we're back for map two for this House Divided campaign. Now this is the Hamptons Legion in Petersburg actually attacking uh, towards, uh, not towards, attacking 19th Indiana, um, just west of Richmond here, the Eastern Theater. That is what's going on the big board. Um, now this would be uh, HL's fourth battle. They've won the past three um, so far in this campaign. So if they win this one, this will be their fourth victory. Um, right now, um, we got a bit of an imbalance going here. Currently 250 on the server pop, 132 on the CSA, 118 for the Union. Um, might need to check balance. In fact, I'm going to... bit. Oh, he's already got it. One twenty third, prepare to right shoulder shift. Right shoulder shift. Off. Uh, they said never mind. Okay. Um. All right, well, we're live, so it is the House Divided Campaign, 130 versus 120. So on the Union team, we have 9th Corps, led by Colonel Tommy and Colonel Brute. You've got 79th, led by Captain Ricks. You've got the 123rd, led by Lieutenant Danson. The 83rd, led by Lieutenant Tank. Let's see, then we've got the 19th Indiana, led by Cap Motorheart, and 18th U.S., led by Phoenix J. We've got Cap Hood and Lieutenant Kilroy, leading the 42nd. And Lieutenant Mattis on the guns. Looks like some 9th Corps people with them. On the CSA team, we have Sergeant Major Wilkes. This is his token, along with PB, which is Colonel Legion. And by the way, Motorheart, this is his token. Um, then we've got 10th Tennessee led by Major Kett, and 20th New York led by 2nd Lieutenant Halo. Then we've got IVB led by Jeff Knight, 4th West Virginia led by Colonel Lightburn, and NYV led by Lieutenant Parker, MWB led by Major Velkine. And I think SR is in here as well, with Tall, with Tall Gray in the lead. But we have a starting out, wow, very quickly here, an attack, a, an initial attack here by 9th Corps and 42nd to try to stack up the CSA and maybe delay them a little bit, possibly to help get the Yardy back. Sorry, one second. Something real quick. All right, so sorry about that. So so far, just a quick overview of the map. We've got the the uh, point of contention right here. Union already is right there. CSA spawn and USA spawn. Looks like the Union is forming up in a pretty concentrated defense over here. It looks like the CSA is mirroring them. Are they trying to get this already back? With only two guys bringing it back, that is probably a waste of time. If you need to do this, you need to do it with three men on the wheel. So, I, I this is... Maybe they got shot and killed. That might have been what happened, and I missed it. That is entirely possible. CSA is moving up in a very deliberate Check. fashion here Check. against this H this uh, Union line. Union overshooting the HL there. It is very hard to shoot a unit downhill, by the way. People tend to overshoot them quite a bit. Let's get us from the bread here. We get a hit though. Right here. Check it. Check. Check. A lot of overshooting there by the Union. Oh, 
Look, I'm seeing a lot of kills here for the CSA. Here's the major rock for me. Forty second. We're in a bit of an elevated position. Buck. Position. Buck. 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 Big game. Big game. Seeing some go down. That was so crisp, boys. Holy shit. Hopefully, yeah, this is aim for the belts. Same as, same as this for uh, kind of main. Really right now, so far, the CSA is winning the ticket fight pretty well. Those kids right here. Gentlemen, volley with the 19th once you are reloaded. It's really ball. crucial that the Union preserve its tickets right now. We're really early into the fight here. It's only 39 minutes right, in there. Get in front of my line of view. A little bit further behind because our spawns are getting on top of the rock. Kaz Raccoon, Omar left, you're in my view. Alright, Danson, uh, I don't know about what you're saying, but we're volleying with 19. Hey, Fire. Reload, boys. Reload. Good. Oh, hey, K-Pucky, good to see you. You idiot! Check! 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 Dress that line! Pull out a little bit left so we have room. Down that hall, again. Up. Oh! About face! There's a scout on the rocks, northeast! I don't see him, sir. He's dead! Alright. Alright! So this looks like a very linear battle right now. Um, I believe HL, their their token has taken a lot of casualties. They only have 1,600 men left uh, because they've been in constant fighting since the campaign began. So he may be opting for a more conservative approach to this battle. That'd be Wilkes. Shots are starting to look a little bit better here for the Union. I'm seeing more drop from the CSA. But as again, I can see the tickets. You know, Union here is almost at uh, half a morale state down. We're at 37.30. This is going very well for the CSA. There's no reason for them to speed this up. You know, preserve the tickets while still achieving the aims they need to achieve. So, I think these mass volleys are working very well. Beautiful volley, Tim. Continue the independent fire force. Parker, you can move to the rock here, right? Check when we I thought the rector rate is in bounds, is it? Grab it at. Check. 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 Line looks ready. Man, now it's only eight difference. That's not too bad. Check. 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 Um, take aim. Not us, Tim. Shit. One tick right of southeast, I see flag. Tick in, down the line, one tick left of south. Fire. There we go, that hit him, tickets dropped. Low, checkered ready. Again, this is going very well for the CSA right now. The out of bounds volley. Looks like 40 seconds going to try an out of bounds volley here, real quick. Fall back, fall back. Oh, looks like it was got some good hits on it. The key right now, though, is they got to they got to decrease their their casualty rate right now. It is way too high for them to sustain this. Howdy, boys. That's why, guys. Fall back. Buck. 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 We're ready. To the left. Same position. Go, 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 go. You know the drill. Take aim. Take aim. Fall back. And it looks like that time the number got hit pretty good by 4th West Virginia and the uh, 
two USC, not two USC, um, Parker's guys. Oh, looks like we got a charge developing move here. To the right. 123rd move to the right. 123rd, we're moving to the right. Recover arms, 123rd. Oh, here they come. They're charging. They're charging. They're charging us over here. They're charging us over here, gentlemen. To line, to line, to line. Hold your ground, charge your bayonets. The weapon may or may not hold. We still got decent handle. Hold your ground, 1, 2, 3. Hold your ground, 1, 2, 3. Looks like the CSA is not necessarily charging, but they are closing the Left distance. The HL, 10, 10 to and I absolutely agree with this. Now the oh, Union is countercharging. <laughs> Into the line of the HL. A very good maneuver here by the CSA has really drawn the Union out and has really gotten a lot of casualties. And while that was going on, the big rock formation here has been taken. The Union has been pushed back, and they are close to engaged here at 34 minutes. Oh, units are still coming down. This is very, very bad. This is a lot of out-of-line tickets here if they get caught. There's a flag going down. They make it out, it's fine, but, you know. Get back here. Back here. That time he got hit. I got him. Retreat. Retreat. Falling back. Falling back. Now a big problem for the Union now is they've lost two of their flags. Their ability to respawn is going to be severely depleted. Their ability to sustain any kind of engagement with the CSA is going to be down. And as you can see, they are now at engaged at 33 minutes and pushed. They've basically been pushed all the way back to their spawn. Get to your respective units. They, do, they are. They... Although the Union's not turtling at spawn, actually, they're actually moving out to the right side of the field. Again, the turtling at spawn, I saw this yet, the last time with the SSL, is kind of cheap. You know, I got it, it's, it's within the thing, but, you know, it's very cheap. You have one unit out here. Who is this? 18th U.S. Yeah, is a little isolated oh, out he's here. He's moving targets. Those are your. No, oh, well, they're shooting at some enemies, but uh, it's just a couple units here from the 20th that are over here. Um, 18th U.S. is very much out by itself. I would not stay there if I was them. That is very, very dangerous to get swallowed up by the CSA, costing a lot of tickets which the unit cannot afford. Uh, starting to move it up. Entire Union team chasing poor Halo in the 20th. No Hablo singlet, please go away. God, they killed no, you. No, I don't want to talk to you. That's you. Okay, what? Why'd you stop? I, I, there's shots coming in at us. Tell them not to shoot us. Shots coming in. Turn around. Where's that? Keep going. Keep going. Another. So the Union is going to swing left here and try to get, I think, behind the CSA. But it looks like the CSA did a good reaction here. You got... HL with Wilkes leading, kind of maneuvering back here to meet the Union. Good awareness by the CSA not to leave their flank exposed. He's got support as well. Fourth West Virginia is coming with him. But this is the entire Union line here with 42nd in the front. This is going to be a quite a challenge here for the HL. Oh, they're still capping. CSA is also capping right now, which I would not recommend, but maybe that's what. Oh, shit. Got a little high there on that volley. And take it. Tree everywhere. Get down that line, fourth. Perfect. Check your loads. We're moving. Left, left, left. Go, 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 go
like the CSA got off cap, which is good. So yeah, this is interesting. The Union did not turtle back at spawn, but sent Opta to move the battlefield over here, the right side. And so far, it has kind of fractured the CSA now uh, into multiple segments here, but they haven't been able to really wipe any of the individual segments. And frankly, if they give too much time, they're going to reconsolidate. So they need to, if they were going to do a strategy like this to try to feed them in detail, they need to be much more aggressive than what they're doing right now. In fact, you still got units that are not really together. Like this right here is, is 18th USSR is really not really giving you any assets. Um, this out here, I mean, you you know, eh, you know, might, might distract one or two people, but. It's not really doing much. 19th Indiana, same thing, is a little bit too far back. Here's 83rd. Oh, they're right in front of us. A little bit too far out here. Tank is going to try to get his men back to safety, what's left of them. Ah, one twenty third got out as well. So. Pucky, you do not have to pop a tag. But yeah, so the problem is now, uh, you know, the C Union had a great move there, but then they kind of stopped, and now the CSA has reconsolidated. You know, as previously, they were all spread out. You know, they could have defeated them in detail if they just, you know, hit them pretty hard one by one. Now again, the ten second rule is in play, so it's harder to regenerate than in the five second rule. Go, go, um, so maybe go, that was part of the consideration there. Base. Base. Move. Move. Right Let's go. Go, go. He's heading southwest. We'll see the Union now with this movement is doing a great job of buying time. You know, without turtling. You know, just kind of rotating back and forth and avoiding any decisive engagements here. CSA had did a good job of massing up here earlier, but now I think, to be honest with you, it, it seems like they've kind of confused the, uh, the CSA a bit. They, they're not really reacting all that, you know, decisively on it. So it looks like they got to decide to cap here, and I don't hate this decision. I think it might be the good decision because now you're going to refocus the battle and make the Union come to you. In fact, I think that's actually probably the best decision. Um, you could make right now, as opposed to jumping around trying to chase them. Okay, let's cap. Let's force them into a kill zone and fight them out here versus jump. Okay, chase them here, chase them here, chase them here, back and forth. So actually, I think that's a good move here by the CSA. Much better line. Officers need to hear. Fuck you! No. Front, line up, line up, line up. Oh, All officers, right. bring the assault! Back to Fortress Livingston! That's real quick. God bless. Oh, let's triple quick, 40 seconds. We got the 83rd oh, no. Pennsylvania, the 23rd, and the 46. Hey! Wait! I wanted the fact! I swear! I have cookies! Keep some cohesion. Now you say you have cookies here, but, uh, you know, the Pathfinders there can do a nice little ambush on you. Now the Union's getting a little bit spread out here. You got the 18th on these rocks here, which is not a bad position. But we got to see what the rest of the Union's doing here. Are you going to swing up and recap point quickly? I, 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 you know, are you going to try to get him down to breaking? In the 10 minutes, I think quick. that's a bit of a tall order. You know, you can get some tickets back right now. They can recap, and it looks like they might be trying to do that. Sorry, get out of your way. Like coming up from this angle over here. Again, uh, well, you got another Union attack coming over here. This is not bad. Is this? 
from the 19th Indiana if they can tie down one of these units here. If they can tie down the IVB, yes. Uh, but if they get wiped, it's very bad. So Molar is going to have to be very careful in how he operates over there. And it looks like Parker and the NYB is going to fall back a bit. Uh, I think he's wandering a little bit too far, but we'll see. Yeah, now he's buying time, but oh, okay, great job there. So it actually worked pretty well. Moto was able to draw their fire, and here comes the main attack. The key to this, though, is that you need to crash in. You know, you could do a volley, but now you need to charge. Because as soon as these guys realize and turn around, you're in trouble. So, you know. I don't know, maybe they'll go with a firing line, but I think that's a mistake, because now look at this. Here comes Wilkes. He's going to turn your flank. Just like that. And now he's going to charge in. So because you guys didn't charge in while these guys were distracted, this is what happens. It's not all about setting up pretty. If you get an advantage, you got to take it because it will go away as it did here. And now this CSA charge is going to push the Union here. 40 seconds get a counter charge, but frankly, it's a little bit... They might succeed. Why aren't these guys charging? IVB needs to go in and help them. They're on the tree line. Oh, I'm amazed these guys are not... MWB's not moving in to help. You see that Yankee flag? That's all Yankee. Maybe they think that HL can do it by themselves. Fuck yeah. Good job. 40 seconds, come over here. Well, Neil. Oh. Me too. 126 scrimmage as well. I don't think we're supposed to grab that flag. Oh. Stand up, faster than we go. Uh, yeah. yeah, that was so you still got Modal Hard over here trying to maintain some kind of distraction force. But um yeah, the union had an opportunity there. They had a distraction, but once it was over, the CSA reacted very well to it and they closed the door on that. Alright, one point third, you are holding here under the gentlemen, we are waiting for our reinforcements to arrive. You are to independent fire weapon. Independent fire. We're looking uh west, west of uh, actually the CSA's got a the union's got a decent force here. If they do a pincer maneuver, they might be able to wipe this out. Now you might be waiting for reinforcements, but the enemy's gonna get in reinforcements as well. Again, you gotta keep that in mind. Just shoot all those guys. So you're waiting for reinforcements, but who else got reinforcements? Alright, one prong is going in. Where's the other prong? You can't go in by yourselves. Unless they're just getting up a little bit here. Maybe they're just moving up a little bit. Can't really tell. This is a little... Very hard to tell what the hell they're doing. Seconds gonna pull back. Again, what happened to those reinforcements? You know, they showed up, but the enemy was still fighting you. Now we got a charge down here by the 9th Corps against the 10th uh, Tennessee. That's a good charge. 
Now the question is, what do you do with it now? I would, honestly, I would pull back. You, you succeeded, but that's just a tactical success. Um, yeah, you see, now you got a maneuver here by HL. He's going to try to put you into a kill zone. It, you know, Union already down to taking losses here. Four minutes, 40 left on this counterattack. So you say setting up a decent um, defensive line here. Zoom out a little bit so we can kind of see it, you know, kind of anchored center position on point. One flank defender, one on another flank defender. And these guys are kind of just watching the back door. It's not easy for the Union right now to organize a push. Thirty left for the Union to recap this point. And try not to talk into that exactly. you. The combat. Perkins. Yeah. I thought Perkins just got shot for a second. A bad shoot him if he doesn't get on time. Okay, people are just dropping. Check. Jack, hey, company loaded. Company is loaded. Push it up. Push it up. Push it up. So Wilkes is going to move up. This is interesting. I think he's going to. I think the purpose of this right now is to just delay the enemy a little bit more. Try to get a nice pop volley and kind of upset them a little bit, and you know, prevent any charging. You know, kill a couple officers, eat up some of the uh, line. But I think that's a good move by check, him check. to try to keep them off balance. Right now, I think the Union is in a lot of trouble here. They, they're kind of engaged in a firefight, and they're not really in a posture to charge. It's very hard to charge out of a firefight, because you guys are half-loaded, people pop it in, bayonet's not on. It's, it's, it's very hard to get going if you're decisively engaged going into a charge. Should we be charging? Like should we be, should we, everyone be doing, trying to do something? Oh no, 40 seconds! Oh no, 40 seconds! Oh, no. Alright, there it goes, so, getting ready now. But here's the problem with load and hold right now, you're in a fight, so the enemy's still shooting at you. So, as opposed to falling back a bit, and getting at, and getting into a covered position, and then preparing a charge, what do I mean by a covered position? Rocks, trees, bushes, high grass, rocks. Just disengage for a little bit, you know, and then, you know, go in. But you go in now while you're still taking fire, you know, you know you're know, you going to continue to lose people while you're loading and holding. And, okay, here comes the charge. 19th Indiana is going in first. Eyeballs, eyeballs, eyeballs. Is the rest of the Union going to go in with them? Looks like not everybody's going off at once. Maybe they got some units as a stationary, but I don't agree with it. CSA flooding in to defend. Good defensive line here by the CSA. And again, the Union is coming in kind of piecemeal. 43 seconds remaining. Still got 40 seconds up there who hasn't moved in. 123rd is still coming in. They haven't moved in yet. Yeah, this match is over. It's going to be a very decisive CSA win. And I think it's going to be very low casualty, which is going to be uh, very much in uh, HL's favor. Here comes Major Vilkine and the uh, MWB Midwest Brigade. They're actually charging up. 
not quite sure why, but I guess trying to get a few more kills. They've already won the match, though. There it is. So, HL has is 4-0. They've fought four battles so far for each week of this campaign, week one through four, and they've won them all. Um, the ever-victorious army is soon going to be the name of Hampton's Legion for the this campaign of the HDC, and 19th Indiana is now pushed back uh, from their position just west of Richmond. So... A uh, good defense there by the CSA. Uh, some interesting ideas from the Union, but never really seemed to fully mesh. Some really interesting ideas. I, I kind of wish I got to see him execute a little bit more, but um, it just didn't really gel. Um, CSA was very disciplined, though, the whole time. Stuck together, worked together. See these, these casualties. They'll probably be under 500, I think. No, 526 still, you know, that means they still got a thousand people on that token. So the think HL will be very satisfied with those results. Anyway, that's all I got. Um, I will see y'all next time.